Hey guys, what the fuck is going on? Welcome back to another fire fucking video, man. I can't yell. I'll get to that. And it's not really a story time. It's more of like a little update on that video that I posted a couple weeks ago called I Quit Weed and Started Microdosing. Yeah, okay. Let's just say that didn't hold up very well. Let's take, let's, uh, take these backseas on that. I am still microdosing off the microdose right now, actually. But I definitely still smoke weed, I'm not going to lie. We're going to get into that. Why, how, when, where, what. But first, go ahead and fucking click the link right at the top of the description. Download DOS using my link, bro. You get $10, I get $10. There is no reason not to. All you got to do is enter your card. They're not going to charge it. Not going to do nothing. I promise, bro. My card's been on there for a fat minute. Nothing's been charged. They can't charge it, all right? It's a cashback app, so if you want to use it, you can use it. But really, the only reason I'm using it is so I can get $10. And you get $10, you get your own code too. So share it with your friends, share it with your mom, your family and shit. Get more $10, like just $10 galore. Go ahead, download that shit, go get more $10, Mike $10, $10 everywhere. Everybody loves $10, thank you. Um, let's get the fuck around to the video, bro. So like I said a couple weeks ago, I posted that I quit weed starting microdose and didn't hold up very well. The reason I quit weed in the first place was because after a while, the weed just wasn't hitting no more, bro. Like, it was like, I did it for so long, like three years, and I just, every day, all day, wake up in the morning, all the way to the night, it just was not hitting no more, unsurprisingly. And, um, I get really bad withdrawals from weed, so when I stop, I can't eat. I, I feel like throwing up all the time. And, um... I guess, like, these withdrawals were, like, starting to fuck with me even though I was still smoking. Like, I guess it wasn't enough to combat the withdrawals. I couldn't smoke enough. That is bad. That was really bad. Lowest point in my life, to be honest. Um, and I hated it. So I quit. I started losing weight. What's most important to me in my whole life is my fitness and my physique and my bodybuilding channel and career whatever the fuck you want to call it that's what's most important to me and then this channel comes next and then third i just want to do what i want which is smoke weed and shit so one thing i've noticed about myself very self-aware of it i love weed and i do not have a very good self-control all right with anything i don't have good self-control with anything i used to beat the shit out of my meat a lot um when i started drinking i used to drink a lot start smoking i wow never put that down um if i like something i kill it until i fucking want to kill myself you know like i just do it to the point where i don't even know who i am anymore that's kind of what happened with me and weed and i hated it all right so i stopped stopped for like six months and i went back to it smoked again stopped for another three months went back to it and this has been going on for a year just me quitting relapsing quit relapse we quit relapse this time, I wouldn't consider it a relapse because I, nothing happened. Usually something happens and I get sad. I want to smoke or I feel bored. I want to smoke. This time, bro, I just, life was going good. But I was like, dude, I kind of miss smoking weed. And um, now that I'm on the microdose, let's try it. Best decision I made so far. Um... The microdose makes the weed hit every time. No matter your tolerance, it makes the weed hit every time. And if the weed hits every time, I'm going to get the munchies every time. And if I get the munchies every time, I don't have that sick feeling in my stomach every time. See what I'm going with this? That's how it's been working out for me. Even right now, I'm not smoking right now. I'm off the microdose. But now that I have a routine, I wake up, take a shit, pop the micro, hop right on here, tell a story time, edit a YouTube video for my main channel. Something to do with my true dreams. Like, this is like what I want to do. I want to record videos. I want to edit videos. I love doing it. I enjoy doing it. So I do it. That's it. As simple as that. I love doing it. I enjoy doing it. So I do it. I want to make it my job one day. That's how much I love it. I'm willing to go through years of no money. To finally make it my job. That's how much I fucking love this shit, alright? And I do that. Maybe I stream. Maybe I go hoop. 
Then I probably go to work most days, come back, and then I go to the gym. And then I come back and I hop on the game or something for the last few hours of the night. Stream maybe for the last few hours of the night. Something, you know? Usually it's I edit videos, go to work, come back, stream. You know? And I've been doing all this while microdose and chopped. Which is a first. Usually when I'm chopped, I don't do shit. <laughs> I do for like the first like week. But then once the weed starts like not hitting as much and it's making me medium instead of high. And honestly, it's making me low instead of high. It's shit. It's an unenjoyable experience because then you're just searching for something that you can't get. You're trying to feel something that you can't feel. That you physically can't feel it. It's impossible because your tolerance is too high. But the microdose is, microdose is done. It's completely changed that. First of all, what a microdose does is I feel locked the fuck in at all times. Mentally, my head just feels super clear. Everything I say just falls out of my mouth the exact way I want it to fall out. All my senses get increased. My cognitive abilities get increased. Everything's just better. I feel positive, feel good. Um, and then to top it all off, to smoke a little bit, and I just get absolutely fucking fried off of like one hit. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that for sure. I'll take that for sure. I'm going to keep this going for a while. But, this all got interrupted. I was going, doing good, bulking, all this, doing great. And I got really fucking sick the other day. Five days ago. For the first two days, I coughed, 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 coughed. Can't stop coughing. Ow, my throat. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Next day, even worse. Wake up, throw up. Go back to sleep. Wake up, throw up. Go back to sleep. Wake up, throw up. Go back to sleep. I threw up like 13 times in one day. 14. Because I threw up every single hour. Actually, I'm not trying to fuck with y'all. I threw up every single hour. I threw up until 2 a.m. in the morning when I went to the hospital because I couldn't fucking breathe. My airway started to close up, which I'll get to. Couldn't breathe, went to the hospital, got my breathing treatment done. Opened up my airways a whole lot. Except now, my throat hurts, bro. And I'm talking to hurts, bro. I'm talking at a pain scale. I'm putting it at a 9 to 10, bro. 9 out of 10. Like, that shit hurt, bro. It hurt to move my neck. It hurt to swallow. It hurt to breathe. It hurt to talk. It hurt to do anything. Any type of movement in my throat, it hurt. And reason being, they took a bunch of x-rays, CT scan, Sophis' x-rays. I threw up so much that the bile, the acidic shit and throw up, it's so acidic that it, too much of that is bad, obviously. It tore up my throat. I have three micro tears in my throat. It tore my shit up. And I asked him, what does this mean? Well, if they're any bigger, I need surgery. Yeah, it gets pretty scary when it's fucking holes in your throat, bro. Um, They found a pocket of air somewhere in the lungs where there should not be a pocket of air. Small enough to where it'll just go away on its own. It'll flood itself out. But that kind of stuff gets pretty dangerous, man. Um, All it takes is for me to throw up some more. And it could tear it up and I'm dead. Or I can't get to the hospital fast enough. Or I do and I get surgery. And there you go. I'm fucking now I have surgery in my throat for life. And now I'm fucked for life pretty much. The way I see surgery is you're fucked for life. You have some something in your body that's not supposed to be there. That's not your real body. You're fucked for life, bro. That's not your real body. You're fucked for life, bro. If you get surgery and you enjoy it, you're fucked for life, bro. I'm sorry. You're fucked for life, bro. You got shit in there that shouldn't be there. You're fucked for life. You're welcome. Um, And anyone who tries to tell you you're not, you are. Fuck up. Yes, you are, bro. There are so many things that can go wrong in surgery. So many things that can go wrong after surgery in the future because your body's going to grow into whatever the fuck they did to you, which is not natural. It's not natural, bro. If you need it and you're not and you're going to die, obviously get it. Like in my situation, I would have had to get it. Whether I liked it or not, I would have had to. Unless I want to fucking sit there and die and breathe in the wrong way and have water go in my fucking breath pipes. Like, bro, I did, it's a scary situation, but I'm glad enough to where they were micro tears. They said, because they are so small of tears, the body will heal itself. It should heal itself, which it has been in the last five days. I'm feeling a lot better. Still coughing a little bit, but 
pain has gone down a lot. Thank the fucking lords. I'm about to smoke today. <laughs> um, that's how good I'm feeling. Um, well, tear my shit up. We'll find out. Life's short. Um, but yeah, bro. I just wanted to keep you up to date about what I'm doing and why. I just really like smoking, bro, and it's it's something that I I don't know. I can't really escape, bro. I can, but I don't even know if I want to. I like doing it. It's fun. It makes me feel euphoric. It makes me hungry. I like it. it. Makes me hungry when it hits, which is what the microdose is doing. So I don't know. I like it, bro. Now nah, I'm gonna keep doing it, and um. I'm gonna enjoy doing it. <laughs> Goddamn right. As long as I keep doing everything I love, such as this YouTube, such as Twitch, such as bodybuilding. Those are a lot of what I really love. Those are what I truly love. So I'm gonna keep doing them. I really appreciate you guys if you watched this video. If you got this far, comment Gooch. G O O C H. Comment Gooch if you got this far. Thank you guys. Um, those who comment, I know you're the real ones. <laughs> Even if you don't comment, you may as well like, subscribe, bro. You got this far, bro. Fuck it. Like and subscribe. Help your boy out. Help the algorithm. Everything helps the algorithm, bro. Help the, help, help your boy out. Come on. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever the fuck you're watching. Peace out. If you don't like and subscribe, you're a bitch!